please subscribe please please what is up guys and i'm back with another video for you lot so from the title you guys know that it is results day for a levels and e techs those of you that have been here for ages you would have known around two years ago around this time i did a similar video which was for my gcse's now the whole reason i'm doing this video today is because i have something that might spark your minds when i tell you but it's the main reason to why i wanted to record today i must say it's very weird back here after finishing college like that very weird the mad thing is is that i've already seen like parents with their kids or mothers and fathers with their children just having to go at them whilst I was on the bus because of their results and it's quite sad if you ask me I do apologise for the bad angle of vlogging but I'm not really used to this anymore oh man I don't like this bro I'm just seeing a lot of people walking the other way after getting the results and I'm not seeing very really, like smiley faces Whilst a lot of people have been stressing, I have been chilling over the last couple of months and you'll see why in a few moments. But yeah guys, I'm almost here. I'm gonna collect my results and catch up with you lot in a second. Tech level three foundation diploma in music two years, I received a grade merit. <laughs> now, a lot of you are probably thinking, well, so those of you that were here from when I was talking about my options and stuff, probably thinking, what happened to the other subjects that you studied? Why is there just one result altogether? And I'm explaining this to you as briefly as possible. So. So those of you that know me, a lot of you knew that I was studying sociology and geography along with music. Music was one of the subjects that I saw as like a free flow subject. One of the subjects that I just go to that because I enjoy it essentially. I'm not saying that I didn't enjoy sociology and geography, because I must say that the teachers that were there that were teaching me at the time, they were very supportive of me. And it's a pity that I didn't get to see them today at results day. But I did go there a bit later, so that explains why. But yeah, I had no problems with that. But as you guys may know, I struggled very deeply with certain topics within sociology and geography. And it really had an impact on my mental health as well. With the way I was revising and feeling demotivated when it would come to revision. And then even with youtube videos i stopped for a while because i was so focused and i even stopped working so i could try focus and do better which didn't really help anything it didn't do anything so yeah so it just came to a conclusion where the teachers decided it's either i drop the two subjects or do the a levels as the final exam and just hope for the best and just leave it all to god and you know, sometimes when God speaks to you, well not sometimes when God speaks to you, when God speaks to you, you must listen. And I just listened and he spoke to me saying that I need to let go of those two subjects and that's exactly what I did. So I'm going to tell you guys something. Make sure you always have a plan B because with this whole college to university or college to apprenticeship route, it's mainly a thing between the two where you just take a gap here. In my situation, I didn't know what I really wanted to do. I had so much options and I would look left, right and centre for options. And it's like I had some I had some options right in front of me, I didn't even see them. Right. Well this is why it's always good to have a plan B because plan A may not always work 50% of the time. So you have got to make sure you have a plan B. And I feel like I really dodged a bullet. Well I don't really want to say I dodged a bullet. I feel like, I believe because I left it all to God, he just worked it out for me and I just followed, even though I didn't know what I was going to do. 
didn't know where I was going, didn't know what the future was looking at, still followed God, right? And look where it has left me. So right now, I currently am going through an apprenticeship and I'm going to be in that apprenticeship for the next two years or 18 months or so. So that's me sorted and I can only give thanks to God, you know, because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be in this position. And had I still have decided to go to uni, then in this current moment, I'd be making phone calls left, right and centre, trying to go through clearing or checking which university I've got in. And yeah, really. So with this video, I want you guys to take it as encouragement, especially to those of you that are in first year and going into second year now, or those of you that are just finished with college and going on to your next step even with this video it's still used as encouragement you know because when you finish uni some people are still in the same position they don't know if they're gonna go in for an extra year to do a master's degree or they don't know if they're gonna go into work and they don't know what so just use this video as encouragement and i just want to let you guys know i'm doing a lot better now mentally physically and i can only thank god for that so yeah but I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video of me doing results day. If you want to check my GCSE video out of me doing results day, it should be up here or up there. I don't know. It's one of the two. Wherever you see the I button with the little white, just click on there to see my GCSE video. But with that being said, make sure you guys stay safe. And also, 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 subscribe to my second channel, please, right? Please. If you want to know more about me, bars. Alright, catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe.